Hello! In this tutorial I will present how to set up the widget development environment. First of all, we should download and install the latest version of Eclipse IDE environment. We can do that by visiting the site www.eclipse.org. Afterwards we should install the plugin called widget development. To install this we should obtain URL address for the plugin. We can do this by visiting the site innovatorsamsungmobile.com. This site is the one of the first which you should explore before you start develop anything. It contains lots of useful information. We should pick knowledge base menu item and select new URL of Samsung Mobile Widget SDK. Let's switch to Eclipse IDE. From Help menu item we should choose Install new software. We had obtained address to software sites and name it as, for example, Samsung Widget SDK. After that we can start installing the plugin. Ok, now let's create the first project and prepare our first widget. We need to select new other widget project form file menu. Then we will fill out wizard form. I'm gonna name this project as hello samsung and input appropriate size. After clicking next, we will choose desired handset model, which in our case would be the star device. On the last one of the wizard we can choose the template with sample application, but it won't be necessary in our case. So let's click on the finish button. The last thing is to switch perspective to widget one. As you can see on the project explorer, we have prepared folder structure. First one is the device list. We can have more than one item here, uh, from that menu we will emulate our work. Then we can find CSS directory for stylesheet files, images for images, project.xml with base settings of our widget and in JS for JavaScript source files. Now we can build the simple widget. Widget will only display single string, hello Samsung. I have prepared JP, JPEG file for background so I will put it to images directory. Let's start from HTML file. We can fill the title tag by name of our widget. But the important task is to link all external files like style sheets in the header section. In body part we will have only a paragraph tag with desired string. Now let's create the style sheet and file and fill it with some simple code. And that's it. We've just created our first widget. To test it, on the emulator we click right mouse button on star icon and pick widget from run as submenu. Don't worry, this white background appears only on the emulator. Uh, it won't be visible on the real device. Now, let's complicate a little bit uh, uh, our work. We'll add simple link. After clicking on that link, the string will change from hello Samsung to simple hello. That's why we will need additional JS file. 
we'll have to add div in HTML file with id button. We will also need the link.js file here. And add simple style in CSS file. Now let's create a JS file where we will have our logic. I will give this file name of main.js. I'm going to put all the code in all load event of window object. The code is very simple. I will define string values and link paragraph tag. The last part is to define the onclick action. And that's all. Now we can check our work in the emulator. Thank you for your attention.